Hey tech enthusiasts, are you ready to unlock the power of AI on your Mac? Today we're diving into the streamlined process of setting up ChatGPT on macOS. In just a few steps, you'll be able to enhance your productivity and creativity like never before. Whether you're a developer, a writer, or just curious about AI, this guide has you covered. So grab your MacBook and let's get started. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate ChatGPT into Siri and Apple Intelligence on a Mac, including logging into your ChatGPT Plus account so that you can bypass any usage restrictions. And this is gonna make Siri and Apple Intelligence work a lot better, especially when you have longer language prompts working on macOS. So first thing I'm gonna do is to make sure that we're on the correct version of macOS. So we need to be using macOS 15.3.1 or later. So make sure to upgrade if you haven't done so already. You can do so by going to the Apple logo here, go to system settings, and then under general, we can click on software update. And then here we can update to the latest version of Mac OS. So anything past 15.3 is gonna contain the Apple intelligence chat GPT updates. Next, what we're gonna do is to go and go back into system settings. And then we're gonna go and click on Apple intelligence and Siri. So under this section here, we have the option here to integrate ChatGPT. So we have Apple Intelligence turned on, but we have this ChatGPT extension section here, which we're gonna tap on now. And then here we have the option to use ChatGPT. So what I wanna do is to click on the setup button, and then this is gonna to help to integrate ChatGPT into macOS. So what I'm gonna do now is click next, and then enable ChatGPT. And uh, what I'm gonna do is also enable with an account, but I'll enable it first just to show you that it's working. I'm gonna use ChatGPT by tapping on the command key on the Mac twice. So this will prompt us to open up Siri and I'll enable this shortcut. And then I'm gonna double tap on command again in order to type to Siri, and then we can type in a prompt. So here I'm gonna ask it to write a story about a bear in the woods for a six-year-old child. So here we have the option here. I'll need to use ChatGPT to write that, should I go ahead? So I click here, use ChatGPT. And now it's working with ChatGPT and it's gonna write that story for us. So this is just gonna take a few seconds. I'm not editing this. And now it's created that using ChatGPT. So this is the story that it's written here. It's not possible with just Apple intelligence. So um, what I'm going to do now is to actually sign into my ChatGPT account so that I can actually integrate this properly with my current account. So I have an account already. If you don't have one, you can just create one on the ChatGPT openai.com website. I'm just going to log in with my account now. So I'm just authenticating. So now we've logged into my account. And one of the main benefits of this is the fact that we have ChatGPT+. Plus. And this is a paid subscription service, which I've registered under OpenAI. And it means that I won't reach any usage limits throughout the day. So now that's working, I can tap command button twice to get to Siri. We can even ask a request here. So I'm gonna tap on this. Hi Siri, can you write me an essay about the existence of God and whether it's plausible or not? So here it's asking us, do we wanna use ChatGPT? Yes. And I'm just going to wait a few seconds for this to generate. I wonder how complex it's going to be. But uh, basically, we have this entire section here that's done. We can copy this request here. So anyway, that's how you go ahead and integrate ChatGPT into macOS. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.